What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey. And if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. That sounds interesting. Hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review. Today we're looking at the Macallan 12 year old double cask. Stick around. So we're looking at a Macallan today. We have the 12 year old double cask with us. Macallan, of course, one of the biggest selling scotch brands in the world. I believe it's actually the third best selling in the world, just behind Glenfiddich and Glenlivet. But unlike Glenfiddich and Glenlivet, Macallan has definitely positioned itself as a more premium brand. Uh, this is a brand that is often gifted in business settings. You'll see it displayed front and center at premium bars. Uh, so people associate Macallan with kind of like class and elegance, probably more so than any other brand I'd say. Of course, whether or not that's true is up for debate, but I doubt anyone's going to argue that Macallan doesn't know how to brand themselves or market themselves. Uh, they have a good brand image, they sell very well, and they're very widely respected, even outside of whiskey circles. Or maybe I should say, especially outside of whiskey circles. Anyway, our double cask here has been matured in both American and European sherry seasoned casks. Um, a lot of people seem to make the mistake that this is like a bourbon matured whiskey that's been finished in sherry casks, but Nope, not the case. Um, this is also the entry level expression to our double cask core range. In fact, you could make the case that this is the entry level expression for just Macallan in general. Uh, they also have a 12 year old triple cask expression, which is around the same price, but where I live, this one's actually a little bit cheaper. So yeah, this one is actually the cheapest Macallan money can buy, despite not being particularly cheap for a 12 year old. But we'll get into all that when we touch on value. Uh, in the meantime, what we have here is an age statement. We have a sherry dominated maturation process and we have a brand name that love it or hate it is known as a luxurious single malt. And you know, I do think Macallan is a brand that people should try at least once if they haven't before. Um, now this is actually my first bottle of the 12 year old double cask. I do have a bottle of the 15 year old double cask on the go and I quite like that one. So I was curious to see what the 12 had in store. And while admittedly this is not the kind of whiskey I would usually buy, I sometimes just find myself being pulled back into buying another Macallan. Uh, I have no idea why, but you know, there's something there with this brand. There's something there. Um, so yeah, with that said, why don't we hop into a review of this one, see what our whiskey is all about, and in the meantime, if you can kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. So an entry level Macallan is not likely to impress here, is it? Um, our ABV comes in at 40%. This is going to be chill filtered. Luckily, Macallan isn't known to color many of their whiskeys, so we do have one out of three. I'll take it. Nice natural color to our whiskey here. We have our classic Macallan look, which I like. Um, I think it fits the premium image that the brand has built. Uh, we have an elegant, clean label, kind of a timeless aesthetic to it. Tall tapered bottle here, all of it looks good, it looks premium. Presentation score is gonna be four out of five. Of course, they're not gonna brag about being chill filtered. They do mention that they're naturally colored, which is nice. Also, props to the brand for telling us what kind of barrels this was matured in. On the back here, we have a little marketing blurb as well as some very basic tasting notes. Not much else to this, but yeah, overall, it's a good look. Let's try our nose. Okay, so this is very Macallan. I'm getting orange, oak, sandalwood, uh, caramel, golden delicious apples, pears, light honey, florals, gentle spices, and shortbread. Now the palate. Gentle arrival, uh, start off with some gentle spices, so nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, something like orange wood spice, uh, some caramel in here, some apples. Now the finish. Mm. Okay, nuts, um, hazelnuts, almonds. We've got oak, orange liqueur, ginger, anise, mulled wine, red apples, and some lingering butterscotch. Now this finish isn't intense, but it's surprisingly medium in length. So this is good. Uh, it's basically what you expect it's going to be, but it's like the best version of what you expect it's going to be. Um, I came into this bottle with very low expectations, but no, I mean, this is legitimately good. 
And I know it's fun to dig into McAllen. They do deserve it. I mean, they're overpriced. They often have weak specs. They have too many of these underwhelming, no age stated expressions. The list goes on. They are repeat offenders. I get it. But does anyone out there really believe that McAllen has a bad house style? Fine, maybe some of you do, but I definitely don't. I think McAllen has one of the most luxurious and sophisticated house styles out there. And yeah, I mean, a lot of that sophistication is on display with our 12 year old here. The first thing I get when I drink this is McAllen. So not a particular flavor, just McAllen. Uh, I suppose you could narrow it down to like wood spice, ginger, sherry, some blood oranges. But yeah, if you've had a few McAllens, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. And while this whiskey did surprise me in a couple ways, the flavor profile wasn't one of them. This whiskey unfolds in a very predictable way. We have some great flavors in here, a nice character, some good balance, classic McAllen. But our whiskey does come in at 40%, so of course our question is going to be, is this too light? And yes, yes it is. Um, but luckily it does have more presence, more character than I'd say most of your 40% options out there. This was less watery than I was expecting it to be. So yeah, it does have full flavors for something at 40%, but it's still too light, it's not enough. And of course that is going to affect my score. Realistically, 40% ABV was never going to cut it. Uh, honestly, I don't even know why I bought this stuff. In a recent review, I swore off whiskeys at 40%, uh, and then I ran out and grabbed this anyway. Don't know why. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a shame because this was a great whiskey before they watered it down to 40%. Um, if this was given the craft treatment, if I had this whiskey in at 46%, I'd be in love and we'd have a world-class 12-year-old on our hands. But we don't. So it's a classic case of wasted potential, which is this distillery in a nutshell. My score for this one is going to be 85. I would easily go higher with my score if they went higher with their ABV. Uh, that's literally the only thing holding this back from being a very solid 12-year-old. Because really, everything else works in this whiskey, which honestly is kind of frustrating. Um, still though, I think if you're looking for McAllen, if you're seeking out those house flavors, this one will do the trick. As I said, it is delicious, it's balanced, it's structured, it's, it's McAllen through and through. And I like it, but I do think there are better options out there in my opinion. Um, for example, you might want to check out Tamdu 12. Uh, Tamdu 12 is about the same price as this stuff. Of course, completely different house style from McAllen but it is entry level, it is sherried, and it also gives us a very luxurious distillate. Not only that, Tamdu 12 gives us a 43% ABV, and we also get to support, uh, I don't wanna say an up and comer. Tamdu is quite well established, but maybe a slightly less visible brand instead of something that notoriously overcharges and underwhelms. And I know I am digging into McAllen quite a bit with this, but you know, I do like them. I think McAllen is good. I think they make high quality whiskeys, but they're not bang for buck. And McAllen does taste expensive. I think McAllen's flavors warrant a high price, but I also think that high price warrants craft presentation, and we never get that from them. I think our value here is fine. Um, it's not good, it's not terrible, and it is expensive for a 40% whiskey. On one hand, yes, we do have those luxurious McAllen flavors. On the other hand, it's weak, it's expensive, and there are better options out there for the money, I think. This one is gonna be cheaper than the 12 year old Sherry Oak, which has been climbing in price pretty dramatically lately. I'm not sure what's up with that. If you guys know, do let me know down in the comments. Um, compared to the 15, this one is of course a step down, but fittingly, it's also substantially cheaper. Um, yeah, I don't know, this is good. It's delicious stuff. And if you're looking for a McAllen, you are getting a McAllen here. Just be aware that you're being charged extra for the brand. All right, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and of course, smash the like. Now, I do wanna hear from you. Have you tried our McAllen 12 double cask? What were your thoughts? Finally, down in the comments, let me know what you wanna see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.